Hi, my name is Kat and you're watching Cat Rose Astrology. And today we're going to be covering Mercury in Libra, as well as Mercury's retrograde in Libra, which I'll be sharing more about towards the end. So Mercury will be, so I've got some dates for you here, uh, quite a lot of dates. So to begin with, Mercury enters Libra on August 26th and will stay in Libra until September 23rd, where it will have retrograded back into Virgo uh, for a little while stations direct on October 2nd and enters Libra again on October 11th until the 29th. So really all in all, we've got Mercury in Libra, including the retrograde and all the back and forth will last between August 26th and October 29th. So not until October 29th do we get uh, Mercury moving into Scorpio. All right. Uh, and I'm going to repeat these dates and go through the retrograde a little bit more because I know it's, it's a little bit hard to, to re remember. So let's start with what Mercury represents. And then I'm going to share five themes to look out for during Mercury and Libra season before talking more about the retrograde. All right. So Mercury, as always, represents intelligence, the mind, knowledge, learning, critical thinking, skepticism, communication, writing, publishing, editing, technology, the exchange of information, the exchange of goods, divination, magic, tricks and trickery, games, versatility, adaptability, and movement. So all of these themes are up for grabs in Libra in terms of how the sign of Libra will modify them. That's what we're looking for here. So the first of these themes is Mercury in Libra season. It's really great for writing up contracts. So it's the idea that Libra is the sign that represents things like fairness, uh, like the social order, social uh, agreements. What's going to work out both for me and for you? How can we both win here? That's a very Libra idea, which is really great for a contract because it means that no one's screwing over the other person or you'd like to think so. So Mercury, um, really great at the kind of the finer details, uh, thinking about words. How do you express something? How do you put something into words? Um, paying attention to the details. So making sure that a contract is is very Libra and very fair, like like the scales. It's this idea that both parties are being protected during this time. So writing up contracts, keep in mind that this will not be the best when Mercury is retrograde. So uh, try to get that done if you can um, before, before September 10th, ideally. All right. The next thing to look out for is superficial communication. So Mercury and Libra, I think of the kind of communication that certainly keeps the social fabric together, uh, but isn't necessarily super deep and meaningful. Uh, this doesn't mean if you have Mercury and Libra that you're not deep and meaningful. I'm, I'm sure you are. It's just that uh, archetypally, this is, this, is what, this is one of the themes it can represent. So let's take small talk. Small talk serves a huge function in our society. It would be kind of weird if you went to your barber or hairdresser and started talking about the meaning of the universe, unless you can, which is really great. I would love to go to a hairdresser like that. But generally speaking, you're going to be talking about things like where you went on holiday and, and stuff like that. Uh, small talk serves a purpose in society, but personally, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. And I know a lot of people aren't. With Mercury and Libra, we understand the importance of small talk and we're able to do it in a very smooth, pleasing way. Mercury and Libra is going to express things in a very pleasing way, keeping in mind that Libra is the sign of Venus, the sign, um, sorry, the planet that, that loves to please and uh, can do it very, very well. So communication that kind of lubricates the, the, the social uh, situation um, and hopefully isn't as awkward as, as I am when I attempt to make small talk. It's interesting. I'll be at a conference during this time. So I'm hoping that my small talk skills will be a little bit better than normal then. Number three, Seeing multiple sides of an argument. This is a really important quality during Mercury and Libra season. Um, Libra is not about winning and, um, you know, who takes the glory, who takes the gold in an Aries way. Libra is the sign that uh, holds the, the opposite archetype to Aries. And there's a sense that with Mercury, any kind of conversation, argument that we might find ourselves getting into, any discussion or debate we might get into during Mercury and Libra season, we're more able in theory to see the opposing view and maybe find some common ground. This is this is a goal with Mercury and Libra and it, and it can be easier um, for that reason. So that's a really nice theme. Number four is indecision. So if you think about Mercury as, well, it's, it's thinking, it's the mind, it's um, how we, how we, um, weigh up different possibilities and, and make calls on things. So this is going to happen wherever Mercury is. But in Libra, 
there's there's the scales there's a bit of mm, if I do one thing this person loses out if I do the other thing that person loses out how do we keep as many people as possible happy which you know is is impossible at, at some point somebody's gonna lose out or not everyone can win and that's the sad thing about um Libra um Libra so badly wants everyone to win but that's just not realistic so said by a true Aries where only one can win um, so with Mercury in Libra we might just find ourselves a bit stuck in terms of making decisions because again we we try to please every party and and that that is a kind of a losing battle really so a touch of people pleasing and as a result indecision can can come about Number five, my final theme for Mercury in Libra season is an increased social life. So Libra is a social sign. All of the air signs have a social quality to them, a social dimension. And with Mercury in Libra, we might just have that kind of um, energy for a bit more conversation, a bit more uh, dynamic mixing and mingling in social situations. Mercury in Libra loves that, gets a lot of um, energy from that a lot of the time. And so we might see an increase, an increase busyness in our social life during that time. All right. So those are my five themes. Let me just recap before I forget. So number one is writing up contracts. Number two, superficial communication. Three is seeing multiple sides of an argument. Four is indecision. And number five is an increased social life. So let's talk about this retrograde for a second. So this is the third Mercury retrograde of this year. It's not the final one, unfortunately. 2022 is a year of four Mercury retrogrades. This is the third. Let's just recap what a retrograde means. So when a planet is retrograde, you can expect a reversal of momentum on certain themes or plans that got set into action maybe days or weeks or even months before the planet has stationed retrograde. So when the planet was moving direct, which means in the sky, it appears to be going in the same direction as all of the other planets, particularly the sun. You can always, the sun's never going to go retrograde, neither is the moon. So you can always guarantee that they're going in the, the normal direction. If a planet is moving away from them um, and deliberately kind of like appearing to run in the opposite direction, well, that is what we call retrograde. That isn't literally happening on the sky um, in the sky. It's just from our perspective here on Earth, that's what we we see. So anyway, things reversing, things moving backwards or things slowing down. And when things pick up again, when the planet does station direct things that may have been in reverse or got undone or screwed up in some way, they can start moving forward again. It's possible that things can, can be sorted out before the planet goes direct, but that's often a theme with a retrograde. So for this reason, when Mercury is about to station retrograde, know that things that happen in this time, which is called the shadow period, this pre-retrograde shadow, where a planet such as Mercury will be tracing uh, stepping over some ground that it will return to again when it is retrograde before moving forward again. So this is this is ground in the sky. And when we look at the chart, it's ground in the charts, um, certain degrees, which are considered a shadow. And it's not really a great time to commence anything, to begin anything that uh, you care a lot about, because chances are there might be a bit of a back and forth action around that. So key dates to look for during this Mercury retrograde season. So the entire Mercury retrograde uh, time period will be between September 9th or 10th, depending on where you are, 9th if you're in the States, 10th if you're in Europe and beyond, until October 2nd. That's when Mercury will station retrograde, uh, direct again. So let's just go through this with the chart. I'm going to step back a little bit to August 21st. This is when Mercury was at 24 degrees of Virgo. And this is the day that Mercury entered its shadow period. So that degree of Virgo, 24 degrees, is a significant one because this is the ultimate um, degree that Mercury will be stationing direct at. But ignore that for a second. Just know that this is now we're we're in at the time of recording um, Mercury's shadow period, which means that again, things we're 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 gearing up to a retrograde and you might have already noticed this. You might have noticed like um, the classic challenges that we get with Mercury retrograde, things around tech, travel, communication, all feeling a little bit screwed up, delayed. Um, uh, yeah, just, just messed up really. This has already begun. Um, and particularly since yesterday, we're now in this shadow where um, everything is subject to somewhat of a reversal potentially, particularly Mercury related things. 
All right. So I'm going to move ahead now to the day that Mercury stations retrograde. So I'm just going to move it forward an hour. There you go. So that little RX sign, that means Mercury is stationed retrograde at eight degrees of Libra. It's happening on very early on the 10th for us here in the UK. And probably if you're in the States, the 9th, not probably, it will be the 9th. Um, okay. So the next date to look for is October 2nd. And this is when Mercury has actually traveled back now. It was at eight degrees, interestingly, where the sun is on that day. Um, it has traveled back to 24 degrees Virgo. And if we just move the chart forward a bit at around 11 in the morning in the UK, Mercury will be stationing direct on October 2nd. That's my dad's 80th birthday. Hmm. So there we go. Mercury is now direct. What I would also mention though, is that Mercury won't have picked up real speed again for quite some time. So we're looking now for Mercury to be out of what is called this kind of post retrograde period where it gets beyond that eight degrees of Libra, where it originally stationed retrograde. This won't be until October 17th, where Mercury has moved past that, that eight degrees of Libra. And we can expect things to start picking up in a more um, smooth and easy way. So who will most be affected during this Mercury retrograde time? And this is important because not everyone is going to experience Mercury retrogrades in the the same same way. Um, this will depend massively on your chart placements. And the first thing I'd say is that anyone who has planets or points, so ascendant degree, uh, maybe a lot, um, between the degrees 24 Virgo and 8 Libra, you'll have Mercury moving over those planets or points three times during, during this period. So you're getting extra Mercury action during this time. Also, if you have planets and points around the degrees of 24 Virgo and 8 Libra, those are the station points and they're worth paying attention to because that's um, where Mercury is standing or well, appears to be standing still in the sky. And ancients believe that this carried a great meaning with it. And we do today as well. Anyone who has dominant Mercury placements generally, so sun, moon, rising in Virgo in particular, and to a lesser extent, Gemini. Also, if you're in a Mercury perfection year, uh, so if you're in a Gemini year or a Virgo year, don't worry too much if you don't understand what that means. I'm going to have a video on that soon. But if you are in a Mercury perfection year, you know that this is a this is a reason to use perfections. You know to pay extra attention to what Mercury is up to, and this would be a great time to do that. All right, that's what I've got for a Mercury in retrograde in Libra uh, preview. I hope that that was helpful. Please let me know what you're dreading or maybe looking forward to during this Mercury retrograde. You know, there are some things that are great to do during a retrograde, editing something, going back over a piece of work or returning to something that you need to finish off or maybe make look more beautiful. I've got, I'm working on a project right now, which needs a lot of my graphic design attention and Mercury and Libra will be a great time for that. That's what I've got for today. Please click like if you enjoyed this video, or found it useful in any way. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I've got videos coming out every week, at least one. And so if you'd like more of that, just click that subscribe button. If you'd like to learn more about the work I do, maybe book a reading with me or come to one of our live events that will be happening online starting in September, you can do that. Just go to catroseastrology.com. Thank you as always for watching and I will catch you next time.